Huh? Hello. Hello. Uh, my name's Key, and I believe in God. Whee! Yeah. Which is a dangerous line to open with, I know, because um, I've immediately divided the room between those that think I'm a complete weirdo and those that have suddenly become very worried about the next five minutes. <laughs> but don't worry, um, I'm not here to promote Christianity. Um, I, it's not a big dramatic conversion story where the heavens open and I'm stricken blind. Um, I mean, I do, I do wear glasses. Um, some of you may be able to, to tell that. Um, if you can't... <laughs> get some glasses. Um, I, I wear glasses because I'm short-sighted, but I also have an astigmatism, which means I see straight things as bent, but my glasses cure that. You know, I'm still suspicious of Simon Cowell. <laughs> um, I'm here because um, I'd like to defend Christianity. I've been a Christian for about three years now, and um, I think Christians have a weird reputation. Um, I mean, I thought three years ago that Christians were people who stood outside abortion clinics protesting with a placard in one hand and punching a gay man in the face with the other. And it's not, it's not true. It's not true. Because no one's that ambidextrous. It doesn't... Um, this is how weird the reputation of Christians is. Um, the other day I was coming home from work um, and I was getting on the bus and um, I saw my neighbour Paula and I went and sat with her. I said, alright Paula, how are you doing? She said, yeah, I'm really well. I've just um, got back from my spiritual yoga class. I went, oh, right, what, what, what's that like? What do you get up to? And she said, you know, it's, it's great. Um, we, we start by um, freely dancing around the room for, for two hours so that we can connect with the ancient spiritual yogis. And then we ground ourselves for another three hours and do guttural deep shouting. And if you let out a little fart, that's all right. It's natural. <laughs> okay. And she said, are you spiritual, Key? Okay? And I said, yeah, I'm Christian. And she went, oh. oh, oh no. And she put a house on the market. So, <laughs> and, but is it any wonder that Christians have this weird reputation when there are men like Pat Robertson out there? Now, for those of you who don't know, Pat Robertson is um, a media mogul and political activist in the States. He's also a Baptist minister which I'd like you to bear in mind as I read you some quotes of his. His first quote. On feminism, he says, it encourages women to leave their husbands, kill their children, <laughs> practice witchcraft, destroy capitalism, and become lesbians. <laughs> and he's just getting warmed up. <laughs> this is my favourite. On homosexuality, It'll bring about terrorist bombs. <laughs> It'll bring earthquakes, tornadoes, and possibly a meteor. <laughs> I love the fact that it's only possibly a meteor. As if Pat is saying, don't hold me to that, guys. I'm not guaranteeing there'll be a meteor, but if there is one, it's probably because of gays. <laughs> Talk talk about one man ruining it for a bunch of other people. It can be done. Wayne Rooney has done it for Scousers. Piers Morgan has done it for greedy fat pigs. <laughs> and Mel Gibson's done it for Australians. And Catholics. And men. Generally. <laughs> Um, of course, it's, it's not just one man. I think, essentially, we are all the same. We all have the same values, but a lot of Christian weirdos ruin it for the rest of us. The main difference, probably, between me and the rest of, of you guys is I believe there was a man called Jesus who walked the earth preaching the word of God. I believe this man, Jesus, had followers, and to these followers, he would give concise messages, and these followers would pass these messages on to their followers, and I think that proves conclusively that Jesus invented Twitter. <laughs> no, good, uh, um, I'm going to leave you with um, a quick story that, um, that happened to me tonight on the way here. I'm relatively new to this, so um, I still put uh, my set on the back of my hand. And um, on the way here, on the tube, there was a woman looking at me um, with almost fear in her eyes, and I thought, oh, it's a, it's a bit weird. Why? And I noticed she was staring at the back of my hand. Um, and on the back of my hand, it says, abortion, rape and kill, Twitter, end. <laughs> and she looked up, she looked up from my hand towards my face, and um, my cross was out, and she rested on that for a while, and then moved gradually up to my face to see me looking back at her, like this. <laughs> 
and I thought, talk about giving Christians a bad reputation. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your life.